Hey guys, it's Pete once again, and I am back from dip netting part two. That was awesome. We had such a good time. Oh man, the waves got a little rough, but uh, we managed to catch a bunch of fish, and uh, now I'm in the process of processing. <laughs> And I figured I'd do it in such a way this time where I can get a, a big batch done quicker and uh, without making a big mess and hopefully this will work. So what I did was, that's a car mat flipped upside down so it's all the little spikes sticking up. And that should hold my fish down pretty good while I uh, cut the bones away and process. And I got a little kid sled over there with warm water. And I did all the scale scraping with the wire uh, bristle brush at the beach which got most of it off but you know I'll get whatever I missed and uh, and take it from there and then that little cooler right there is just filled filled with eggs and uh, that's gonna be great bait in the future also it makes great sushi so I'll save some of that for sushi and um, got my uh, my vacuum sealer and what I did was I put two pieces of wood right in front of it so when I've got the uh, bags, they'll be flat, lined up right nice with the, uh, with the suction nozzle. So that way, you know, sometimes the bags fall down and they pull it away from that. So I think I solved that problem. So I'll be able to use um, bags that just fit the fish instead of having to cut them bigger uh, to allow for that, that hangover. So, hangover. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, all is well and uh, I'm going to get back to work. Just thought I'd share my new, uh, my new system. <laughs> with you. Hope you're all well. Take care. Talk to you next time. Bye.